Okay, okay. Let me get the most difficult part of this conversation out of the window right now. Yes, I acknowledge taking the assistance of a robotic arm to assist with my Indian meal cooking. But believe me, I had valid reasons to do that, which I'll explain in a minute and also show you how I made that Indian dish with the robotic arm. Before we do that, let's get some backstory. While work from home is going on, the office work was still at a peak, while food options were limited. So you had to rely on your cooking skills. While that is a fun idea, if you are in that subset of people who have back-to-back -back meetings. Back to back to back. Yes, no gap. It might be difficult for you and you might empathize with me that it's not too easy to cook your entire three course meal every day. While I was able to manage that, sometimes you crave for the yummy food. And that's where I decided to give it a try. To a robotic arm, ding, 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 a robotic arm. <laughs> so step one, choosing the robotic arm. I had simple criteria, something that was easy to set up and use and I could easily find one. Fortunately, I was able to borrow Dobot Magician. I chose Dobot Magician was also because it had extensibility built in with Arduino so I can easily run code on Arduino and control the robotic arm. So step one, done. So option two was choosing which dish to make with the robotic arm. Based on the history of work or jobs allotted to robots, they are usually allotted something that is repetitive in nature so that it takes less time for humans to do the task and humans can focus more on the creative brain power tasks. Fortunately, intent dishes have several options that require a repeat task to be done. So that was my first trigger to know that that could be an interesting job for a robot. Voila. <laughs> so for task two, I specifically went with a dish called kheer, which is a rice pudding. Essentially what it is, is rice, milk, and sugar. Those are the main three ingredients that you stir for keep stirring for hours and it becomes thick like pudding. It's super yummy, believe me. Okay. So, Step two was also done. Robot voice finalized as step one. Step two was choosing the dish. And step three was how do I use the robotic arm to do that robotic task. Before I move on to step three, I thought you might be more curious of how the dish turned out. So before I go to the step-by-step -step process, let me show you what my robotic arm helped assist me make. Ta-da and ta-da. Yeah, as you can see. It's quite thick and sorry, and that's what I wanted. I loved Kier, so yes, that's what I built. Let's go through how. So here you see cooking the Indian food with a robotic twist. If you search online, you might find that this kind of recipe might take maybe an hour to make. But for me, since I required more thick pudding, it had to take several hours. But the step was simple. I just put and heated the oil, put some cardamoms in, and as you can see here, I'm putting the rice, which I stir fried. The main ingredient of this dish, as I mentioned before, was milk, and here you see me pouring the milk. And this is what will get repeated for a few hours. Now, this is main number one task of the robot to keep stirring milk. You would ask why would this need to be done? My limited knowledge, the reason for keep stirring is so that the milk doesn't boil out of the frying pan and it starts becoming thick. As you can see, there is not much fancy animations going on. One time you go clockwise of the stirring spoon and second time you go anti-clockwise. You can see here, the hardware setup was pretty clean. 
I have a power cable and apart from that, this is my Arduino Mega connected to the dough board where I had put the basic code of clockwise and anti-clockwise movement. And that's it. So, so simple. I wonder why people don't use robotic arms more often. As you can see, the robot just did one part of repeating. All other tasks of adding the ingredients, I did it. So it was a collaboration. I would not give full credit to the robot. And the last step was I added sugar and stirred it. And let added some dry nuts on top of it. So here you go. Let me tell you a secret as I'm ending the video. I am not the best cook in the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's why sometimes I try to use my robotic friends to give me little help, but but maybe slightly more than a little help in making me Indian meals. Before I say thank you, I would like to give a salute to everyone who make food daily amidst their long working hours. You guys, I'm proud of you and thank you.